Hello, New Hampshire Realtors. My name is Adam Gaudet, and I am your 2022 president at NHAR. I am here today to quickly update you on some things we have coming up and a few things we've been up to over the past quarter. Registration has begun for the 2022 NHAR conference, which is going to be heavy on content and light on cost. It will be held on September 13th through 14th in downtown Concord at the Capitol Center for the Arts and the Bank of New Hampshire stage. We've got an amazing lineup. Keynote speakers will be Chris Voss and Allison Levine. There will be two full days of education and networking, and we're hosting a casino night, including entertainment, by Marilyn and Elvis. And the evenings will include the installation of 2023 President Ben Cushing and a red carpet ceremony for the Realtor of the Year Awards. There's a bright red countdown on our website, nhar.org, right on the top there. Click that link for more information and to get yourself registered. We'll see you in downtown Concord this fall. In an effort to keep our members ahead of the information curve, we're about to upgrade our already excellent market data that we all receive on a monthly basis. I hope you're all familiar with the monthly market indicators, the 16-page statewide market report updated monthly at nhr.org. Well, we're just about to add two layers to that, fast stats and info sparks. Fast stats will include a map feature where you'll be able to hover over a county and then any one of most New Hampshire towns to get a localized monthly report. And with InfoSparks, you'll be able to interact with data, create a customized market report using any variables you see fit, and then branding those reports to share with your customers and clients. Please stay tuned for more details on those and some training that will go along with them. I was one of a group of New Hampshire realtors to visit Washington, D.C. in May as part of NAR's mid-year legislative meetings. It was a great opportunity to speak with members from around the country who are experiencing the same inventory issues that we are right here in New Hampshire and to speak with our members of our congressional delegation to talk about ways to work through and combat the crisis. NHR stressed that with an underbuilding gap of over 20,000 units, even modest steps taken at the federal level will unleash tremendous economic activity and create new jobs. And here at home, our government affairs team just finished a year of battling those same inventory and affordability issues in Concord. Stay tuned for a legislative update from our CEO, Bob Quinn, and Public Policy Committee Chair, Chris Noller. Keeping with that housing affordability and availability theme, NHR is producing a series of videos to help contextualize the crisis. The first of those videos, in which UNH professor Richard England debunks the myth that more housing leads to more kids, which leads to higher property taxes, has been released and can be found about halfway down on our homepage, nhar.org, and it's called The Correlation Myth. The second of those videos, featuring NHR legal counsel Matt Johnson, is in production now with a focus on defining what workforce housing is and what it is not. So look for more on that soon. Also on the subject of the inventory crisis, I was very proud to be part of a recent collaboration between New Hampshire Realtors and St. Anselm College at an event called The Housing We Need. More than 100 Realtors were in attendance to discuss the obstacles to housing affordability and what Realtors on the ground can do to help. There's no group better able or more capable of understanding the New Hampshire inventory crisis than us. And I believe there's no better group to work towards solutions as well. Please stay tuned as NHR continues to be the voice for real estate in New Hampshire as it pertains to the inventory crisis. And finally, this spring, I was thrilled to be able to present a check for $250,000 to the Opportunity NH Fund at the New Hampshire Community Loan Fund. The investment is targeted at expanding, among other things, multifamily housing opportunities through various development financing options. The investment is for one year at a 1% rate of return, and it allows NHR to continue to push back against the housing crisis and help to widen housing opportunities in our New Hampshire communities. This was an initiative of the NHR Board of Directors, and much of the conversation revolved around the realtor organization putting its money where its mouth is. And I'm very happy to say that we've done just that. Well, that's it from here. Thank you all for tuning in. And if you have any questions about these items or anything else at the State Association, please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly or to any of our staff members at the Concord office by dialing 603-225-5549. Take care and we'll see you at the convention.